I call upon Ms. Kajal Kumari, Sadhana and Nagavarshini of 5th year MSCN RI Mysuru for the invocation. Yam Shaivaha Samupasate Shivaiti Brahmeti Vedantinaha Yam Shaivaha Samupasate Shivaiti Brahmeti Vedantinaha Bodhaha Buddhaiti Pramana Patava Light is a symbol of brightness and prosperity, which blooms the grace within. Lighting the lamp sets serene aura around. I request all the dignitaries on the dais to light the lamp and make a wonderful start. So please. Professor G. D. Gopal, Dean of Instruction, R.I. Mysuru, to welcome everyone to the conference. Good morning, everybody. On behalf of R.I. Mysuru, I take this opportunity to welcome all the delegates, resource persons, participants, and paper presenters for this 10th National Conference of Mathematics Education, which is held in 20th December in R.I. Mysuru, 2021. It is a great privilege for me to welcome our director, NCRT Professor Sridhar Srivastava, for this conference to preside over virtually. I would have been more happy if it would have been person, but due to this pandemic situation, we are keeping the pandemic norms in a virtual mode. We are conducting this conference. I welcome our beloved principal, Professor Vaisri Khan, Principal of RA Mysore. I also welcome all the heads of the departments, head DE, head DEE, head DESM, head DESH, all the constant units of RAEs of Bhopal, Bhuvaneshwar, Ajmer, and Mysore for this conference virtually. I also welcome Professor R. Ramanujam, retired professor, Institute of Mathematical Sciences, Chennai, and a former chairperson of the National Focus Group of Mathematics Education for this conference. And all the staff of the Institute of RA Mysore and DM School to attend this program, which is happening in AV Hall, and a warm welcome to all of them. This is a great month, particularly for all the mathematicians of this country. Ramanujam was born, a great mathematician born. And Srinivasa Ramanujam was an Indian mathematics born on 22nd December 1887 in Europe and passed away on 20th April 1920 in Kumbakona. Such a great person. I have read yesterday when I was going through that, Ramanujan's last notebook. It was a very great book 
Springer and Verlag has brought a book. Bruce C. Brendan has published that book. How Ramanujam has lost that notebook? What was the significance of that notebook? What he wrote in that book when he gets dreams in the night, which he used to write on the wall, has been transcribed in English and for wider audience of this uh, world has been put in the book form. I think all the mathematicians should go through. In fact, every object in nature is controlled by mathematical accuracy, proportions, size, shape, everything. We have so much of mathematics. If all the animals would have been in the same thing, if mathematics is not there, they are all in the same shape. We are having the diversity is because of the mathematics. Shape of the body, perfection of the body, figure of the body, and uh, the common angle, 13, uh, 137.5, golden angle, these are all related to biology. People may say that biology is not related to mathematics, so much is related. All the shapes, the right-handed coiling, left-handed coiling, we have got sinistral, dextral, all that uh, annulated openings and conscious, all these things is also mathematics. If you go deep into that, there is a book called Numerical Taxonomy, Snell and Soker. After that, there was no book because mathematics is tough, added to that biology, added to that, it is very difficult. That's why not many people are working on numerical taxonomy, which is otherwise called as the cladistic science. NCRT has given a platform to this conference for teachers, teacher educators, all enthusiasts in mathematics, and the researchers, and the students, and research scholars, to express and share their innovations through this conference, which is a national event. NP, National Policy and Education 2020, clearly mentioned that major emphasis is developing a strong literacy and numeracy foundation so as to make mathematics learning more meaningful and joyful to the students. The focus is now on the development of the competencies by ensuring the well-defined class-specific outcomes through this conference. I warmly welcome all the participants uh, to this conference. I think, in fact, uh, the other thing what I want to tell you, there is no object in this earth which is devoid of mathematics. Take, for example, a beautiful picture you take on the wall, wall painting, to a genetics, whatever, 2n minus 1, 2n plus 1, 3n, 4n, 5n, it has all the meaning. All my friends in biology can understand what is the implication. We are getting today seedless grapes because seedless grapes is a novelty and it is because of the 3n. All the organisms are 2n. When it becomes 3n, it has an advantage. So there is also a disadvantage by not having 26 chromosomes of the human being, if one is deficient, we suffer from Mongolian EDC, then Neelfelter syndrome, Turner syndrome, it is all that number game. I think without mathematics, even biology is not completed. So mathematics is the mother of all sciences. So I welcome all the participants, research scholars, and all the enthusiasts for this conference with a warm welcome. Thank you. the application of mathematics in all the fields. I request Dr. Madhu B, assistant professor and also the program coordinator to provide a brief note on today's conference. Good morning to all. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Director NCRP Professor Sridhar Srivastava and uh, our Chief Guest Professor Ramanujam to uh, spend valuable time with us. Also, I would like to thank principal, dean, and all the faculties, all heads, and all the participants and students uh, to attend this program, as well as uh, giving us uh, support. So, actually, about this program, uh, in 2012, NCRT has uh, started this uh, national conference. And in every year, it will be in different constituent units. We used to have the conference in every year. Last year, it was in Bhopal. When uh, it was come to RI Mysore, uh, actually the situation was totally confusing. Last year, when it was happening in Bhopal, everything was clear that in the sense that it was going to be online. Because that due to the pandemic situation, we don't have any other option. It was done very beautifully there, very meticulously in Bhopal it was done. Then when it come here in Mysore, uh, the things are in a slightly different shape. Some uh, half uh, offline, 
hybrid mode. We have a lot of plans. We had planned for offline and uh, planned everything for offline, but uh, what happened sooner this Omicron and the guidelines of state governments are there, then we have to think of hybrid mode. Even then hybrid mode, it becomes uh, more complicated than after discussing with uh, our principal Shikhan sir and the committee members, it has to be decided to be online. Online seminars, uh, conferences will have its uh, some advantages, that means at any time, anywhere, uh, without uh, traveling much, without any fear of the pandemic, you can attend the program. But at the same time, it has a very big drawback like what we have just faced and similar to that one, there will be many other issues will be there. People may join and may not join. So many tensions are there. Till yesterday, we were, uh, dis I was discussing with Prasasar also, our uh, head uh, DSM uh, about the complications or the modalities, what would have done in this time. And now coming to the conference, uh, now we are in a particular situation that uh, we have begin uh, NCF 2005 and uh, when I uh, well, start my j job as a teacher, we have uh, reading about the NCF and we were focusing what NCRT was telling. At that time I was not a part of NCRT. And uh, we were looking at the national curriculum framework of mathematics position paper and other position papers and other things and uh, constructive classrooms were coming and lot of ideas about mathematization of uh, students' uh, thinking process, children's thinking process was uh, on the discussion. And that uh, meaningful mathematics, what, how mathematics should be taught, should be in the meaningful way, everything was discussed on that time. Now we are in the uh, stand of NDP 2020, which we should, uh, it should be go further from NCF, means it should be a next step towards the more mathematization, more meaningful mathematics based on the uh, all the concepts of NCF which we have already underwent. So actually, we have a wonderful uh, person with us, uh, Professor Ramanujam. He is actually chairperson for the National Curriculum Framework uh, position paper. So, uh, so he will be inaugurating our session as well as he will be giving a big keynote address uh, today. And uh, another issue is the situation is the pandemic. We have studied and we have taught as a teacher, as well as teacher educator, as a student, we were in the, earlier we were in the offline mode, fully offline mode, even though we tell sometimes flipped the classroom. So I will just uh, try to conclude what are the general uh, things we want to tell about the, this conference. Uh, we have six keynote speakers speaking about the various uh, areas of mathematics, including history, and uh, strategy and uh, we have uh, uh, nearly 120 papers were uh, came for the registration among them we have gone for the screening of abstract as well as the complete screening of the papers and we have got the 71 papers and uh, in that one come from various states all over India we have paper presenters and uh, we know that many paper presenters want to come physically present come here and present the papers uh, but unfortunately due to this situation we cannot uh, have that one so we have to do it online and along with that one we have uh, even we have uh, keynote speakers Professor Hukum Singh Ji, Ramanjan sir, uh, then Shailesh Shirali, Professor Shailesh Shirali, Professor K. Subramaniam and Mahesh Sharma uh, from UK and also we will have a panel discussion on uh, mathematics teaching issues and challenges in the post pandemic period. So. I hope it will be a really wonderful experience for you during these days. Uh, so I will uh, wind up now, uh, but before that I just want to tell that after every session we will set a uh, Google form in which you can do the, uh, fill the form and uh, your feedback also you can send at the time that we will consider for your attendance also. So there will be paper presentation will be parallel sessions and link is provided along with the schedule which you can join and there will be moderators will be there, they will be taking care of all this work. So uh, thank you and welcome to all of you for this uh, function. Thank you. Thank you sir for briefing us on the conference and moving ahead. It's an absolute privilege to have eminent personality amongst us whose contribution in the field of mathematics is immense. 
Professor R. Ramanujan, retired professor, the Institute of Mathematical Sciences, Chennai, and former chairperson of Na National Focus Group on Mathematical Education. I now request him to deliver inaugural address. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks very much for inviting me to inaugurate the National Conference on Mathematics Education for NCRT, being organized by RIE Mysuru. Um, I wish I could have been in Mysore. It's one of my favorite places. I, my visits to RIE Mysore have always been associated with very pleasant memories and extensive discussions. I was looking forward to visiting Mysore on this occasion, but then the pandemic has uh, shown us uh, that uh, this uncertainty, these moments of uncertainty are something that we need to live with. I salute uh, NCRT and RIT for the work in mathematics education and uh, what this conference has been doing. And uh, I thank you for inviting me to be part of this uh, conference. I've been associated with this conference for many years. I've, had the pleasure of participating in it, and uh, I greatly appreciate the discussions that go on and the papers that get presented, and I wish the conference all success. What I want to talk about in this uh, session is about this great disruption. Obviously, that's what is on all of our minds. Um, I want to tell you about one uh, episode. Um, Earlier this year, in April, was when the second wave of Delta had just you know, was uh, peaking, not yet, but uh, was quite severe all over the country. So also in Chennai, this was the time when Chennai's hospitals were overflowing, and oxygen was uh, hard to find. Uh, it was a very bad time for all of us. Uh, I got a call from uh, a 17 year old girl. You know, family who's good friends with us and uh, of course we were all stuck in our homes and uh, now this was a girl whose both her parents were in hospital and COVID. Her father was on oxygen but they were doing okay. It was not, uh, they're, they're all right now as well. Yeah. So but then this girl was alone and uh, you know, uh, obviously in a very tense situation. And in the middle of all this, uh, she tells me that you know, it's uh, a little, uh, actually, you know, all this I can't keep, uh, you know, I can't forget that I have to keep preparing for the board exams also. And uncle, I don't understand integration by, by parts at all. So, can you imagine the absurdity of a child? And, and she is, she was reflective enough to be able to see that it's absurd. This is it's ridiculous, but I can't get, keep uh, getting integration by parts and uh, derivatives out of my head, right? So, somewhere, I think, and I, and I remember in the media, the discussions on the board exam, are they going to happen or not, and all that, and uh, CBSC announcing the decisions on the boards. And so, the kind of obsession we have with examinations, the pressure of that, uh, came home to me quite dramatically in that moment when this girl, her parents in hospital, staying alone and taking care of herself, is still worrying about, uh, you know, after all, board exam is a reality that might happen, and uh, then integration by parts is a reality, and all that, right, and what it means, right? So, somehow, the dominance of this is something that, as a community, we, we, we clearly saw the difference between education for the haves and the have-nots. Uh, access to devices and connectivity was only a part of the problem. A large number of children were just left out of uh, these kind of possibilities for education. The quality of online education offered was also mostly abysmal. I mean, again, there were a, there was a short, a small percentage where, which actually did very, very well with all that. But 
mostly the mode of in-person teaching was actually replicated using slides. And it's basically whatever you do in a physical classroom, you do online, making PowerPoints and so on. And as educators, uh, you know the efficacy of uh, using that medium in that mode. So, now, I want to keep emphasizing that most of our challenges are old challenges, especially in mathematics education. Right? Assessment remains a central issue, and uh, uh, examinations and whatever we heard from teachers during this pandemic. The need to use multiple resources, in fact, even when the possibility of you know, when things went online, we could use multiple resources, predominantly the use was pretty much a single mode, multiple approaches, and the need for mathematics pedagogy to be able to absorb all these and use in the classroom came home very sharply during this period. And the need to actively engage every child, and this is perhaps the greatest challenge that mathematics education has always faced, that uh, the need to actively engage every child, whether it's in a physical classroom, already we have how hard it is, and then the online medium dramatically showed how difficult that is at all levels. I mean, I was uh, teaching online for undergraduate students, uh, graduate students, many, many courses, and this is always a tremendous challenge. And the little ones, I mean, the primary school children, a large number of uh, government schools were closed and they didn't have access to anything at all. And uh, in fact, now reception after disruption for them has meant basically restarting. And for many of the teachers, to deal with so many children at beginning levels has been a tremendous challenge. Now that schools have reopened in many, many states. Now, there is talk of emphasis on foundational literacy and numeracy. In fact, Tamil Nadu government has constituted a mission for called Dendomeritum. And in fact, I am the chairman of the uh, committee looking into that. Uh, but one thing is clear that you know, everybody is thinking seriously about this problem for uh, after the pandemic. And, but any narrowing of these definitions right now to just concentrate on a few skills will work against us in the long run. And in fact, this is an opportunity for us to understand what this means and uh, rework the nature of uh, pedagogy for small children. And in fact, it's time to emphasize the social nature of mathematics education and the central role of working with physical material. I mean, I, I'm reiterating probably something that we all know. Uh, but the pandemic I'm seeing and the disruption and the resumption has uh, uh, you know, made us uh, look at this all over again and rededicate ourselves to these. Uh, anxiety, I think mathematics is a great source of anxiety for high school children and the pandemic highlighted this more sharply. I was just mentioning that girl and whose voice is still ringing in my ears. Now, assurance and assurance and building confidence needs to find a central place at all levels of discussions in our community. And uh, we invariably there is talk of uh, you know sense of fear and failure among children. And uh, at the primary school level, there's a lot of recognition of these. But as you go to higher and higher levels, especially among teenagers, the work needed for confidence building and assurance and anxiety reduction. I think it needs to be a lot more. And uh, this is something that I'll talk about in the, for the next hour, challenges for the 21st century. But again, you know, uh, we had uh, floods and we had uh, these in Chennai. Of, you know, this has been the period of cyclones and storms and rains and so on, and along with all these. And uh, um, perhaps the important uh, thing that we need to also consider is mathematics education as if the planet matters. I mean, the planet matters, thus mathematics education matters. Right? And uh, now there are possibilities in all kinds of areas, whether it's arithmetic, algebra, geometry, data analysis, all these to underline ecological awareness, resource consciousness, working with material, what it means. Uh, mathematics has, is a wonderful language for bringing in these. And I think as mathematics educators, if we actively engage with this, these concerns, I think uh, we'll be addressing very important questions in the times ahead. 
And again, the pandemic has also shown what it means to deal with uncertainty. Even understanding the pandemic mathematically, uh, understanding what's happening in the environment, society, in mathematical terms, uh, can greatly uh, uh, help children deal with the world and understand. So this conference brings together mathematics educators who are deeply committed. There is no dearth of uh, committed mathematics teachers and educators in this country. It's been my great pleasure and privilege in the last 20-30 uh, years to meet uh, teachers who have shown tremendous uh, creativity and innovation, working in um, you know great adversity and probably very little recognition from the system. And uh, so it's clear that all over uh, there is no dearth of uh, talented teachers and educators. And I think uh, it's a matter of working together into the system uh, by bringing system acknowledgement by, you know, uh, the National Education Policy 2020. One of the remarkable things about it is the emphasis on teacher education. Uh, teacher education is uh, emphasized again and again Again, and the need for teacher uh, professional development and capacity building. So I think uh, if uh, we dedicate ourselves to this and working together, I think we can meet these challenges for sure. So I would like to once again congratulate the NCRT and RIE for uh, this uh, um, uh, effort. The National Conference is a wonderful occasion every time to listen to many teacher educators, teacher education researchers, and uh, rededicate ourselves to the challenges of the time. I think uh, the pandemic has brought uh, many things into focus, and uh, I wish the conference great success in articulating uh, the terms and uh, the way we are going to move forward. Thank you all. Thank you, sir, for illuminating us with the problems faced uh, by the students and as well as educators uh, in online mode of education during this pandemic. It's again our extreme privilege to have Professor Sridhar Srivatsava, Director, NCRT New Delhi amongst us, who is the biggest support system behind every innovative initiatives of NCRT. I now request him to deliver the presidential remarks. Namaskar. Thank you all. Professor Ramanujan, who has been graciously uh, accepted the invitation for being with us, of course, virtually. Professor Vice Rikant, principals Arai Mesu, and uh, other principals who have joined us today virtually and deans, heads of the department, and colleagues from my all constituents, and most importantly, the delegates who are connected here today, and the students who are connected here on this uh, 10th conference inaugural occasion. And many more persons who I might fail to take the name, but who are here connected on this occasion and we have to deliberate and discuss about the possibility of making mathematics interesting to the children across the length and breadth of the country. When I say length and the breadth of the country, I mean that we as an institution are presently involved in enacting curriculum framework and in that exercise, we are just intending or we are aiming how well we are able to translate the things which are posited or given there in the National Education Policy 2020 to be translated through our national education, national curriculum framework with keeping in mind a target of reaching it to the last school and last child and the last teacher in this country. That's why I say the length and breadth of the country. Uh, Professor Ramanujam was mentioning uh, very interestingly, and in fact, this is the uh, this is a real issue. 
when he was mentioning about that girl uh, situation during the pandemic. Yes, it was an example, but I feel this kind of situation lies there all through the time with uh, many of the children. I would say that all the children, some children find it very interesting to pursue mathematics as a subject, as a learning area, but most of the students find it very difficult. And I also, I am saying on the basis of my own personal experience, I have been a very average student. And I would say uh, the domain that I pursued as a higher education, I still consider myself a student of that area, statistics, which is very uh, uh, near or in a way subsumed to the, uh, to the area of mathematics. And being an average student uh, from a, a humble background, I can uh, uh, just uh, assume that what is the situation of an average student from a uh, humble background uh, to grapple with the uh, target of clarifying many of the concepts of mathematics. I was just seeing uh, uh, the objective of the uh, conference. It is mentioned that uh, we have to propagate uh, what is there in the national education policy uh, through this conference uh, for the teachers, the students and other who are member of the fraternity working for maths, teaching, learning. And then uh, I was also seeing that uh, one of the sub theme was uh, mentioned as uh, aspirations and canvas, uh, uh, career canvas in mathematics. You know, uh, we all know that uh, national professional standard for teachers or national mentoring mission, these are certain areas which have been given there in the National Education Policy 2020 and organizations and agencies under the aegis of Government of India or state governments are working for that. Mathematics uh, as a career, uh, as a career is important, uh, but I personally feel as Professor uh, Ramanujan was also mentioning about foundational literacy and numeracy, I personally feel that maths learning is very important and I consider it as a life skill. And it is very important for anybody, even if the person is not pursuing a career in mathematics or otherwise not pursuing a target of any professional uh, professional uh, aspiration where mathematics could be a, a step for that. Uh, and uh, mathematics is very important, the foundational level mathematics is very important, numeracy is very important, familiarity with number is very important, simple mathematical calculations in day to day life is very important. Having said that, I also feel uh, that uh, mathematics learning uh, we uh, talk many factors about mathematics learning, the interest of the child or the ability and qualification of the teacher who is standing before the cohort of children and uh, uh, involving herself or himself in the math teaching. Then it also depends upon the voice modulation and the, uh, the ability of the teacher to generate interest among children for maths learning. But uh, at the same time, I feel that uh, it is very important to make understand each and every child that in level, any uh, in certain level of maths familiarity is very important in day to day life. And uh, national education policy is talking about identifying core essentials and reducing the content load, not the curriculum reducing the content load and providing the children uh, ability for inquisitive questioning, thinking and uh, uh, giving them opportunity to involve themselves in experiential learning. So all these exercises are very important uh, for us to uh, undertake uh, along with the uh, exercise of enacting uh, curriculum framework post NEP 2020. So these are certain points that I feel this uh, deliberation of 10th conference would surely include in its uh, 
exercise and uh, uh, a lot of discussion would take place and uh, then uh, uh, as uh, you know that uh, we have a position paper also uh, to be prepared uh, for the maths learning and uh, this time the national curriculum framework is being enacted by wider consultation across the states and we are also embarking upon wider consultation at the district and sub-district level. So uh, these are very important exercises that we have to take. So uh, this conference is at a very right point of time and it will surely give feedback to us. And a uh, very important point that uh, came uh, in the uh, oration of Professor Ramanujam and we all know it and uh, we all think about it, but how to uh, roll it out. That is about assessments of mass learning. Uh, you know, pandemic is a situation and uh, it's a truth that we, are, we have witnessed. And, uh, and then post pandemic, when the children will return to school, then this area will again be a gray area for every teacher to understand. That is assessment of mass learning. I feel children of uh, lower stages, means uh, early stages when they will return back, they might have lose, uh, uh, they might have uh, uh, just uh, not be retaining uh, the same level of interest in uh, any learning. Uh, they must be very eager to play to roam around in the school. They might have uh, felt certain disruption in the continuum of learning in the form of concept understanding and that may be the case at the class uh, 10, 9, 10th, 11, 12th also. But uh, when the teacher will involve the students in assessment, uh, a lot of issue will come that I foresee. We are also trying to come out with a guideline where we are simply saying, trying to uh, uh, put across with the teachers that assessment should not be very prescriptive or restrictive. First of all, we have to uh, just uh, regain the interest of the students in the uh, learning uh, post pandemic and where they come, when they come back to the school as uh, uh, and uh, they start resuming their process which they left about two years ago. So assessment is very important and uh, in normal situation also assessment is very important but I feel that post pandemic it becomes more important. So these are a few points that I wanted to place before you all. You people belong to fraternity and the domain of mathematics. You will be able to uh, understand what I am trying to indicate uh, and uh, this is based on my experience uh, moving around uh, on behalf of NCRT to the rural area or moving around in different management of schools, different level of schools. There are very good schools, there are schools which are having certain problems. So these points were based on my experience. Uh, it might be of uh, 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 you people will it will agree with this and uh, certain points you might have your own opinion also but these are the points that I have to offer and I again thank you Ari Masu for giving me opportunity to do across a few words on this of this. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you sir for your words of wisdom and emphasizing on the importance of mathematics learning. I now take the opportunity to welcome the guiding light of our institution, Professor Vai Shrikan, the principal, R.I. Mysuru, with his words. Respected Professor Sridhar Shivastavji, the director of NCRT, Professor Ramanujan, retired professor of the Institute of Mathematical Sciences, Chennai, Professor Gopa, uh, the deans, the heads, the participants from RIEs, NCERT, and other institutions. I join all my colleagues in warmly welcoming you for this conference. And it is a privilege for NCERT 
to organize this event. As you all know, the mathematics as a subject plays a very critical role in child's life right from the beginning. For some successful students, it is a stepping stone. For others, it is a reason to drop out. <coughs> I think this kind of situation needs to be faced very effectively by having conferences of this kind in order to see how effectively we can transact the subject of mathematics in the classrooms. Because if we are able to transact mathematics as a subject at early levels, then certainly we'll be able to produce great mathematicians, great sociologists, great economists, and what not. Because mathematics is required in every field. NCRT, in its own way, has been making attempts, especially uh, after the NCF 2005 and even before that also, in integrating different subject areas so that the learning of uh, subjects do not become a burden, especially with respect to mathematics, the abstract learning of subjects like mathematics should not be a burden. So that is the reason why an attempt was made to integrate maths with EVS and language and teach them very effectively at lower levels. And also, recently, we have also widely propagated the idea of integrating with art, art integrated learning. And uh, we have seen the results very effectively at the uh, classroom level also, wherein the children are able to understand better, especially even the concepts such as zero, which are very difficult for small children. They are able to understand when they are integrated with other aspects such as art, etc. And I must also tell you that we have to produce very useful and effective audio-visual material for the children so that they can learn better. I can give you an example. Way back in 1974, a, a video was produced uh, by, uh, uh, with the guidance of Vijay Mole, and uh, you all must have seen, especially the uh, people of mathematics. Hindu desh hum sab ek hai, basha anek hai, suraj ek, chand ek, Tare Anek. So this video, I have seen sitting with these small children in the classrooms, who, those who are in grade one, and the concept of singular and plural is understood so clearly after seeing this video that, you know, whatever you show them, whatever you teach them, they'll not be able to understand the, the thing so clearly. So I think even we have to use ICT in effectively translating uh, some of the complex things. And uh, perhaps these kinds of video material uh, can really bring about a systemic change. When we talk about uh, mathematics, uh, you know, even the PISA, the poor performance is uh, reflected all over the country every time whenever we talk about assessment. Uh, even in PISA, there are uh, uh, mathematically applied questions which are based on graphs and other things. So, uh, uh, the problem with assessment is that, you know, we focus on whatever, still we keep saying rote memorization, textbook centric learning and so many other things. But when these are, things are applied in reality, so they will certainly be able to learn better. So the assessment has to certainly change. And uh, finally, I just want to say one thing, that uh, India is a land which has produced such a great mathematicians right from the beginning. Aryabhata, Bhaskara, Varaha Mihira, Brahma Gupta, Govinda Swami, Sankar Narayana, Vijayanandi, Sripati, Brahmadeva, Narayan Pandit, Ganesh, so many, so many right from the beginning, uh, from BC to till recently. And uh, even now we are producing able 
uh, I mean, uh, uh, the scholars who have won able medal, uh, and also, uh, I mean, though it's a different thing that they are living in different countries, uh, but still, when it comes to the contribution of mathematics, uh, uh, especially from this land, it is really great. Why I am saying this? Because we always look towards West for many of these solutions. But uh, our indigenous solutions to the indigenous problems is something which is very important for all of us to now address. And uh, you know that as mathematicians, uh, the decimal places, the zero, the concept of zero, and even when it comes to the Pythagoras theorem, uh, 200 be here, years before, uh, in 800 BC, uh, in the Sulva Sutras, these things were described. Uh, the architectural monuments uh, uh, with uh, domes and arches, etc., very beautifully built, uh, very long ago, much before the Westerners even thought of these kinds of things in a, uh, a very efficient manner. And uh, uh, this Bruhadi Swaralem uh, of Tanjavur, where the shadow does not fall at any point of time, of the uh, Gopuram. So it's also a wonderful example of mathematical precision. So there are so many things that India has done, and for this reason, the Albert, and Albert Einstein has once said, we owe a lot to the Indians who taught us how to count, without which no worthwhile scientific discovery could have been made. So uh, the z concept of zero was introduced very long back, much before, and uh, the Westerners came to know about it only in 1500, I am told. So like that, there is no end to the way Indians have looked into mathematics, and even we knew infinity much before. Uh, in India, Ananta, a coiled snake uh, on which Lord Vishnu rests, represents infinity in the sense, now Einstein and many others have talked about this infinity and uh, uh, you know how uh, this universe is expanding and has no end and things like that. So, even Rukveda, for example, talks about, uh, uh, you know, uh, in, uh, in 30 days, sun traverses from one uh, Rashi to another, and in 12 Rashis, uh, it traverses 300 and, uh, I mean, uh, 12 Rashis into 30, it is 360 days, and the entire Rashi Chakra is uh, confined to 360 days. So, we, there are many examples of how this indigenous mathematics has excelled over a period of time and this should continue further and this is only possible by focusing and emphasizing on mathematics education right from the beginning and for this the, I believe this uh, conference would uh, certainly contribute in a very significant manner. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir, for sharing your experience and opinion on different learning approaches to enhance mathematics learning. Now, we have reached the end of inaugural session. I now request Professor C. Padmajaman, Head of Department of Extension Education, RI Mysuru, to propose a of thanks. Good morning to one and all. I deem it as a privilege to propose a of thanks on this inaugural session of 10th National Conference on Mathematics Education from 20th to 22nd December 2021. <coughs> Chief Guest of the inaugural session, Professor R. Ramanujan, retired professor, theoretical computer science, and was chairperson for NCF 2005 position paper, Mathematics. Sir, we are privileged to listen to you, and I hope all our math students and paper presenters are inspired by your talk. As you truly said, greatest challenge for mathematics education is to actively engage every child in a class. And not only to the maths teachers or students, 
it also, as you rightly said, we are all more bothered about planet as planet matters. Education, maths education also matters. They are not two different entities. Maths is integral part of all the subjects. Thank you, sir, for your valuable words. <laughs> Professor Sridhar Srivastava, sir, Director NCRT. You are a guiding force for all the programs undertaken by all of us, sir. <clears throat> your unstinting support help us to complete our tasks with relative ease and comfort. As you said, every child needs certain amount of maths knowledge. This should be put into the mind of a child. As I, as a student, I ran away from maths. I thought I can run away from maths, but later part when I joined for research, I realized maths never will leave us. So, as Professor Sridhar Srivastava sir said, I think this onus lies on the maths teachers to tell and convince students that, yes, we have to learn maths. You can never ever run away from maths. Thank you, sir, for being with us and helping us to complete our programs with relative ease and comfort. Professor Y. Shrikant, sir, Principal RAE Mysuru, you are a force to reckon with, sir. Your guidance during the planning and executing this national conference is awesome. You are always with us to help us and lead us. In your speech just now, highlighting the knowledge on mathematical approach for all problems by our ancestors is an eye-opener. We always look to the Western people or scientists or mathematicians, whereas we have big mathematicians. We should look up to them, derive inspiration from such great scholars who excel in all the fields with their basic mathematics knowledge. Thank you, sir, for your valuable words. Professor G.V. Gopal, Dean of Instruction. He is a person with a lot of patience and overwhelming enthusiasm to be a part of all the programs of the Institute and guide all the program coordinators and help DEE also to solve all the problems. Thank you, sir, for welcoming the audience. Professor B.S. Prasad, Head DESM, being a mathematician himself, he is hand-holding Dr. Madhu, a coordinator, and making things work and foresee any difficulties and help them solve before Madhu faces any problem. He is a fatherly figure for Madhu. Thank you, V.S. Prasad, sir. Coordinator of the conference, Madhu, left no stone unturned to reach to the best mathematicians in the nation for the conference, giving the program a wide publicity and could receive overwhelmingly 120 papers and accepted the expert committees, accepted 71 papers for either reading them out and publishing. Kudos to Madhu. Though he is an amateur in conducting conference for the first time, he is doing his best. Thank you, Madhu, and all the best for these three days of the conference. I thank all the principals, faculty, and dean of RAE Bhopal, Bhuneshwar, Ajmer, Shillong, deans and faculty of NIE, NCRT, Head of the Department of Education, DESH, faculty of RIE Mysuru, and staff of DMS, paper presenters, 
chairpersons of all sessions for extending support and the overwhelming response in the form of papers. All the credit goes to Dr. Madhu and his team. Last but not least, I extend my thanks to the technical team for being a part of this maths conference. Thank you all and I wish all the best to you. I thank Professor C. Padmaja, ma'am, uh, for your valuable presence and, uh, and to extend a vote of thanks. We appreciate you all taking time off your busy schedules. Uh, we hope you all will learn a lot throughout this conference. We have lined up for you to be fruitful and engaging. Our next session begins at, after 10 minutes after a quick break. I request the audience from RIM Suru to be seated in the AV Hall. Thank you. in an international setting in 2018. So we are proud that uh, Mr. Anwar Sadat is, uh, L, L, uh, is uh, with us at this moment and he has such a vast experience of uh, educational technology in so many schools of Kerala. So let's have, uh, let's uh, gain, I mean, whatever the things he has, he has experienced, he, he experienced in his career, he will be sharing with us and it will be fruitful for all of us. So, uh, Mr. Anwar Sadat, I, I invite you to give your deliberation today. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Aurasia Ji and uh, dear friend Dr. Madhu and uh, other organizers of this great conference. I am also uh, very thankful to RIE Mysuru for uh, giving me this opportunity to present the case. Uh, especially you know, when the digital education and digital divides have become buzzword or integral part of our education system. Uh, uh, after the pandemic, especially after the pandemic, 
even before the pandemic, you know, the national education policy and um, the digital education framework, uh, all these were in active consideration for the country. And there were some isolated uh, uh, practices, isolated uh, uh, experiments or implementations happening throughout uh, different parts of the country. From the perspective of Kerala, uh, fortunately, uh, unfortunately, could not have come to RIE Mysuru. I would personally, I would like to have there because my native place is uh, at the Malapuram district near Nilambur. It's, it's close to Nilgiri. So it's around 100 kilometers from there. Though I am sitting right now in the southern most part, Trivandrum. And I have visited RIE uh, two, three times before for such conferences. But let us, let us, let us see physically next time. ICT for the development sector, and that we call it in short form ICTP or ICT40, that means Information Communication Technology for Development in early 2000. So, uh, many attempts to bridge the digital divide have been done in the country and one of uh, the, uh, the, the predominantly it was in the e-governance arena, uh, national e-governance plan which came in early 2003-2005 in the common service center for the uh, <laughs> which was uh, pioneered in, uh, in in Kerala like uh, Akshaya project so this was it. so what I would like to I would like to begin my talk by saying that handling digital divide is not an isolated activity for mathematics or social science or uh, basic sciences but it's a it's, it needs a comprehensive intervention for a system to progress further uh, or to capture the, uh, to reap the benefits of the uh, digital technologies for the betterment of the society, especially in education. Kerala, we have two decades of experience in implementing ICT for education. We started in early 2000, uh, 2001 with a project called IPA School and which was later transformed to KITE, Kerala Infrastructure and Technology for Education, KITE, in 2017. So from the, the journey has started in 2001 and it has progressed in a such a way that after this two decades, of this 20 years, we were able to achieve something, especially uh, even at the time of this pandemic, to, to bridge the, the, the gap, academic gap of students to, a, to the possible extent. So before uh, going to my presentation, uh, let me start with a two-minute video uh, which, which captures the uh, kite in a, in, 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 a, in a very short time. Present this, yes. It will come, sir. We should do that. He, he has not been, he should only do that. Thank you. 
I hope you are able to, to see the video uh, and uh, now I am going to the presentation. Okay, so uh, uh, as, uh, as I said, it's, a, it's a almost two decades of intervention in ICT education. The, the, the basic pillars of uh, any ICT intervention for uh, digital education, uh, especially in for uh, our uh, secondary schools, even if it is for secondary or uh, for uh, higher education sector. We have taken these uh, uh, five pillars the most one is capacity building of the existing teachers. We are, we are not uh, taking the foreigners to teach uh, our uh, students ICT. Foreigners in the sense that uh, stakeholders outside the teaching community, where well, the existing teachers are empowered to handle ICT. So that's a capacity building. And the hardware deployment which has done in the centralized way and even for the local mobilization in which is doing content which is more core, which is in tune with the pedagogy and the, the framework. We are not depending the outside uh, uh, no, or industry driven content, but uh, this content is vetted and approved by CRP only is permitted to use in school. And the overall governance, e-governance system for monitoring and for the improvement. And the mode of delivery through which is, which is satellite mode, which is the challenge, education challenge. So all these elements I will uh, explain in detail uh, in, 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 while going through the presentation. So uh, the project ITA school was initiated in 2001. Okay, it's 20 years before. And in 2003, government of Kerala made information technology as a compulsory subject. Initially, it was for class eight. In 2004, it was class nine. In 2005, it made compulsory subject for class ten. And Information technology was included uh, among one subject for the public ex examination for the 10th standard. In 2007, we sh shift to free and open source software, which was a main, which was a major milestone for us to achieve up to this level. In 2010, uh, after 10th years, the whole uh, approach has been shifted from ICP to ICT enabled education. In earlier days, the focus was to teach information technology as a subject more of the tools, you know, the operating system, office backing, how to make presentation, how to do calculation, etc., etc. But from 2010, the strategy has been changed, and it is like you now, uh, instead of uh, uh, imparting skills based on ICT, we use the uh, mathematical um, issues or uh, social science problem or scientific experiments uh, and while solving all those issues or while giving some softwares for uh, understanding those concepts, the student in turn acquire the skills. So that is what ICT enabled ICT unbuttoned education. In 2016, we have started, the government started a major program called Public Education Rejuvenation System, after which you now uh, each year almost 1.5 lakh students have started enrolling new, oh, afresh to the public schools in the Kerala. For the last five years, it's, it comes around up six years, it has crossed almost nine lakhs plus uh, new students. So the high-tech school uh, project. 2017, the government has uh, uh, stabilized the uh, converted IT school as a section eight government company called Kai, which is uh, existing right now. 2020, last year, uh, the Kerala has declared uh, the complete, the first state to have uh, uh, no, complete in the digital education. It, 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 it was never complete, but now it, 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 uh, in the sense that uh, the whole element has been taken care of and uh, uh, there are further scopes for. for so, this is the, the brief uh, outline of this. So, what do you say in uh, uh, complete digital education means? 4,752 secondary school means class 8 to 12, they classrooms have been put a uh, uh, facility for uh, viewing the classes digitally. That means laptop, projectors, and broadband internet with network uh, classroom. So 45,000 classroom uh, is uh, very high, high school. 
eight to twelve. This high tech lab is for one to seven. There we are not putting uh, these equipments in our classroom because we don't want the children to use this all the time. But we put mobile sort of uh, uh, labs for them to use the, for the primary school. And this is the core part. This is Samagra Resource Portal, which is uh, used to deliver the classes in the smart or high tech classroom. So uh, I'll come to that. There comes the the strength of pedagogy or curriculum for transactions, which was highly useful in the case of mathematics, which is some brilliant free and open source software available for mathematics. If you ask me, which subject have do you have excellent uh, packages for the most? The first answer will be for mathematics. Software like GeoGebra, uh, you might have seen that, which is an open source domain, which is been extensively used from class 1 to 2 uh, in, in, in our public education system. So there are supporting factors where little guides are equal. It's like your uh, scouts, guides, or MCC club. We have almost 1.75 lakh students in 2,000 schools. They do oh, 20 to 40 students per uh, schools, comes little guides. They have different activities for dissemination and uh, you know, peer uh, uh, teaching, peer uh, uh, supporting, giving, even training the mothers, sort of thing. So these are ecosystems which, uh, which put us declared uh, digital education, digital, digital, public digital education in 2010. Next one, as I said, the capacity building, the empowerment. What old mode of uh, uh, training you have to? Uh, see, the face-to-face -face training was or is being followed extensively, but after, after uh, in, in the last four or five years, it has gone to on, online extensively, even before the call. See, in Kerala, we have almost five lakhs employees, out of which around two lakhs are teachers. That means 40% of our uh, government employees belongs to school teacher category from classes 1 to 10. And all of them to complete their probation within the two years, they have to pass a, an online course called COOL, called Open Online Learning, which is basically a massive open online course, a MOOC course driven on free software and gives the necessary application software for a teacher to practice in their classroom, including you know, the, oh, starting from OS, application packages, video editing, audio recording, cyber security. So all these elements are put in there. So it's a mandatory for uh, all teachers to pass this course. Government has made it mandatory in 2018. This is the third year. Then different training to little guides IT club. Now it has gone to from computer laptop. We have taken a strategy in 2019 that there will be no desktop to school, only laptop. Or because of uh, different uh, reasons of power, uh, no need of, uh, uh, it, it, it's lightweight, portable, and you don't have any UPS, it has inbuilt uh, charging capacity and all. But of late, we have started mobile journalism, uh, that mojo training, how to shoot classes, digital classes, uh, documentaries, uh, to make digital content by using the mobile phone, which is all teachers have been given training uh, in, a, in, a, in a successive ways, which helped us uh, in a big way during the pandemic. Then the Vision Media Literacy, which again uh, have uh, fact check, cyber security, fake news identification, etc. ICT training for mothers. Now, to put uh, uh, earlier days, we were saying don't give mobile phone to your kids. Keep phones, mobile phones, smartphone away from kids. But now, you have, we are telling them to give your kids for study later. So, what are precautions they have to take? Um, literally, uh, mothers making them literate on the cyber aspect, that's very important. We use uh, kids, little kites members, 
for the training. So that's ICT training for uh, mothers. Then for online education, we use G Suite. It's a new platform which has started from this year. Uh, when coming to the digital divide part, I will explain what is strategy we have taken last year and what is strategy we are taking this year. Uh, what was the difference? I will come to in the later side, but so Google was closed for training. So these are different types of training for empowering the teachers, students, and even to the states, uh, parents, and uh, other society leaders. And as I said, the Samagira resource portal. See, you have the digital classrooms, you have the digital infrastructure, broadband, internet, network classroom, projectors, laptops, speakers, etc., etc. But it's it's of no use if you don't have a, 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 a relevant content uh, for uh, you to transform, to translate in the classroom. So what do you mean by relevant content? There are plenty of uh, uh, apps, tutorials available in the market. So do you want to take uh, some of them or buy some of them or take free uh, some of them and uh, use it and keep your teacher uh, just a operator of uh, uh, that application? No. That was not the way it was envisaged even before the COVID. The Samagra resource portal is what we have taken we have taken, uh, I, I, I will give a demonstration of that if we get the, if we get the time. Uh, it taken each subject for the mathematics. Chapter 1. What are the learning objectives for them? Take one learning objective. What are the macro plan to transact them? For each macro plan, what is the micro plan? List out this, then make the lesson plan, then Take the digital resources wherever you are. It's not like scanning QR code and playing some video, identifying some hotspot and playing video. It's not like that. The teacher uses video, animation, images, or interactive applets only where they feel it is appropriate to put in while preparing the lesson plan. So that's the summary, right? It's a, it's a different mode which is unique uh, in that sense. Uh, uh, and the school wiki is again a collaborative platform for the school or even the alumni to mobile the, to build the uh, content of uh, uh, related regarding the school, including the history and the contribution and all. We come to that. And we have textbooks. We have ICT textbook from class one to twelve. Class one to ten basically. We don't have any ICT teacher, IT teacher, exclusive IT teacher for class to ten. That means uh, there are IT period and IT test group, but the teachers, they, are, they, they may be teaching regularly mathematics, Malayalam, English, Hindi, whatever, but they take ownership to teach IT also. That, that is a way. There is a, there is a operating system which is customized by kind, which bundles all sort of applications which are here for school. So the school don't have to go to install X application or Y application like that and it's, it's, uh, it's available for mm -hmm. This is the, the, the sort of application. Uh, I, I don't know how much uh, it's visible. But you see it has uh, office packages. It means uh, office uh, like you are uh, Microsoft Office equivalent, Excel equivalent, PowerPoint equivalent, database software. So everything is, uh, comes under the office package, Libre Office. It has uh, uh, like your Photoshop, it's a gym, the software application. Like your uh, 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 Inkscape. Uh, Here the session, uh, it is session 3.2 will be starting uh, soon. Uh, we have less number of papers here. Uh, I think uh, Santur sir is uh, here from Delhi. Sir is joined from Delhi. Actually, sir is our faculty, R.I. Mysore Physics faculty. Sir will be moderating the session. Santur sir.
appreciate that because I think this person has to see that. संतोष सर हेलो संतोष सर एम आई ओडेबल papers are here but uh, time we can maintain that 10 minutes sir
learning resources for mathematical pedagogical processes. And uh, uh, chairman, uh, chairperson of uh, this session is uh, Dr. Ashwini Kumar Dutt, Associate Professor in uh, Mathematics, Regional Institute of uh, Education of I welcome sir and uh, I just want to introduce uh, today's uh, chairperson, uh, he's an uh, eminent scholar and he joined NCRT in 2006 and uh, he has more than 15 years of experience in teaching and 20 years of uh, research experience and uh, he has a specialization in mathematical education and uh, he has written uh, many books and uh, many papers he has presented and uh, it is not the end part and he has uh, great expertise in uh, domain of uh, mathematical education and uh, he is the resource person of different uh, programs of NCRT and he always uh, uh, find his feedback in the different programs of uh, NCRT. So welcome, I will, sir. Thank you. So, I request all the uh, speakers and other participants, please uh, mute your microphone so that disturbance is not there. So uh, today uh, in this session total uh, six papers are there. So I request before starting the paper presentation, I request all the presenter please uh, stick to the time. Ten minutes presentation and uh, uh, five minute discussion is there. So now I hand over to uh, this uh, session to Dr. Ashni Kumar Garu. So give uh, his uh, opening remarks over this theme over learning resources for mathematical and pedagogical process. Over to Ashni Garu sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, respected uh, our paper presenters, uh, everyone have idea of the, these themes. The themes are the learning resource for mathematics pedagogical process. Uh, in the uh, starting classes, Professor Jukum Singh discussed in, the, in very detail about the learning resources. If I say about the theme, just like a learning resource, uh, under the learning resource, learning resource is wider range terms. Under this. If I say what is coming under this umbrella, so I am going to do you that yesterday Professor Rukuk Singh already discussed about the topic one topic is the learning, uh, teaching learning materials or uh, mathematics lab. So that is that is coming under the umbrella of learning resource, uh, teaching learning resource. And same way, if I am going to discuss about the pedagogical process of related to a teaching learning uh, learning resource, so under this category, we are considering the textbook. Textbook is the one very important learning resource for teaching the mathematics. Same way, we are uh, using the audio visual or simply you can say the multimedia, they are coming under the umbrella of teaching learning resource. And the third things are coming under the community resources. Under the community resources, if I say uh, 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 according to the recommendation of new education policies, so new education policy also emphasize on uh, at present key we uh, we send our student about every semester in 10 days to the village level. They go and observe the village level activity and on the basis of that they learn the so many things. Same thing under the community resource, parents, uh, uh, peer groups of the uh, community, they are all are coming under the this umbrella. And uh, what I already so mentioned that the one thing mathematics laboratory and uh, mathematics corner. Professor Ahum Singh already discussed in the study discussion, Mathematics Club and one more thing, sometimes we are saying that, that uh, teaching learning materials and somewhere we are saying the teaching aids. So these things coming under the umbrella of learning resources. So I think is, uh, uh, at the end, I, 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 I already mentioned the, the points here that they are coming under the umbrella. No more uh, news key I discuss about the, the uh, uh, explain the individual parts. So I, I request Dr. Santosh Kumar Ji ki, ki we start the presentation one by one. And we take the time, I already mentioned that said for the 10 minutes, I think 10 minutes is the enough times. And when you are presenting the papers, I have request you simply you take your uh, title, after title simply you come with your uh, uh, objective, then you come in methodology, under the methodology, your sample size, tools, and if you add the other side paper, and then you come in the, your uh, interpretations and conclusion. If are the paper parts, that time simply there is objective, your uh, objective parts, and then simply some introductory part, uh, center part, then you come conclusions. 
no need to trans part and so so many things. And I don't I don't mean that's an introductory part. So in this way, if you if we move slow, I think we will reach the end of the particular paper politics. So now okay, now I have handed over to the director of post command. Uh, thank you, Dr. Ashwini Kumar Dars, sir, for your valuable and brief uh, note about uh, today's theme of uh, our paper presentation on learning in mathematical and pedagogical process. And so we will start with the uh, first paper presentation and as I already have told, I will again request all the speakers to stick to the time and as per the instruction of uh, our chairperson of this session, please stick to the uh, instructions. So first uh, paper presenters are Nevi or Tom GSS. Ugly district uh, Ambala and uh, this was in GMS Mahindra Haryana and their title of paper is Establishing Mathematical Labs in Schools Issues and, Issues and Challenges. So I request uh, the group please uh, present the paper. Nandit Kumar, of course, are you there? Nandit Kaur, I think that they are not there. Yes, so sir. I'll Okay, so please I request you to... Yes, sir, I have it. Santoshi, I have requested you to take the attendance, basically. On the present attendance, you will... Hello? Yeah. Uh, okay, madam, just a minute. Uh, after that, uh, uh, Raj, Raj A, we are here, that group presenter, paper 2. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Amit Sankar? Amit Sankar? Yes, sir, I am here. Okay. Malikarjan? Yes, sir, I am here, sir. Okay. Chokar S? Johar S. Okay. Mahendra Singh Dana. Yes, sir. So I am speaking. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. So I am going okay, to uh, again request Navni course. Please uh, present the paper. Thank you. Using low cost and no cost materials too. 
purpose of mathematics allergy, learning of subject matter can be given a practical shape. A practical mindedness is developed among the students. Mathematics laboratory is proven. The concept of concrete pictorial abstract CPA is achieved through mathematics. The teaching approach of mathematics can be achieved through mathematics lab and the learner will be able to understand abstract ideas, concepts through the use of mathematics lab. And math lab can be established in various levels, primary and upper primary and senior is secondary senior second level along with the along with this lab, ICT and software tools supports or higher standard lab, which are listed below, smart board, mobile -like projector, geogebra applets, and graph calculator, robo compass, etc. can be utilized along with the mathematics lab to support ICT tools. Maintenance of lab, math lab can be, there should be a well planned timetable and proper allocation of periods, record of materials and visitors and lab manual session notes should be maintained in the mathematics lab. Here is an example of math, math lab activity which verifies the relationship between diameter and circumference using GeoGebra applet. From this applet, students have to do certain with different ADI which have to be recorded in table later. Further, they have to find diameter and circumference Later, they have to divide the circumference with diameter to verify the relationship between diameter and circumference. The result surprised them since they got the same answer, that is the value of pi. It takes time to slow and steady to the race. What I hear, I forget. What I see, I remember. What I I understand. So, it can be achieved through mathematics lab. I made it in a lab in our area. By that experience, I have established a simple lab in our school. I have conducted a survey issues and to analyze the issues and challenges in establishing mathematics lab. Responses collected. 12 questions were sent to 25 math instructors using survey hack up, out of which 23 were responded in two weeks of time. Out of 20, 23, three instructors have working experience in mathematics lab. Here is a sample question of the survey. Is mathematics laboratory activity a part of co-curricular activity? Majority of the persons agreed. And it is essential to make clear that if internal marks allowed for lab activity, it can be considered as co-curricular activity. In conclusion, the only way of learning mathematics is to do mathematics. It can be achieved through mathematics lab. It is very expensive. That is, establishing of mathematics is very expensive and every school can't afford it. So, establish a simple lab instead of math lab. Standard math lab. We can't use mathematics lab for all concepts, for all classes at a time. So, for this purpose, we have to allot a lot of timetable and regular the proper uh, periods to each class. And we have to use mathematics lab for conception based learning as well as for joyful learning and better understanding of the concepts to achieve success in competitive as well as in achievement test. For this purpose, contour and concept maps can be displayed in the mathematics lab. By the survey, we, we can understand that CC is adapted as evaluation technique, evaluation technique so that formative assessment, these math lab activities can be utilized. Internal maps can be allotted for lab activity where CC is not adapted, such as other subjects physics, chemistry, in evaluation system. If internal knocks adapted for lab activity can be considered as co-curricular activity, which has to be sensitized to the teacher with proper training. The secret of the success depends only on the interest of the teacher in establishing the mathematics labs. East or West, home is the best. Standard or simple mathematics lab is must. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, uh, Ravi sir, eh? uh, for your presentation. Now, I request uh, all the participants, if they have the questions, please uh, unmute yourself and uh, this presentation is for open for questions. Thank you.
Any questions? Yes, sir. I have some suggestions, Rafiq ji. Yes, sir. Your topic, no doubt, has established mathematics level in the school issue and challenge. I think more work is required here. First, I want to. This is my suggestion, not your question. Second thing, your question about mathematics life part of the co-curricular activity. I think this is not a good question for this type of study. I am not agree with that. Now, mathematics life not the co-curricular part. This is the part co-curricular part. So maybe here teacher are confused for giving the answer. So may like you when you develop the question, this type of questions. So you change the pattern of the asking the questions. So no need here you mention the co-curricular. Simply you the co-curricular. Because mathematics is not a co-curricular, it is a curricular. So, second thing you mentioned that it is a time allotment. No need uh, uh, extra time in mathematics lab. Because mathematics lab is a part of the, your curricular parts. So when we are teaching mathematics, uh, that time we, we, we use the math lab. Or we, so this is my suggestion. Yes sir, but in state board, in, in our board we don't have the facilities. So we have the curriculum. Mm -hmm. we, we are using so far uh, co-curricular activities only, sir. For that purpose only, I have included that to sensitize that co-curricular is not. So now I have suggestion that you fight these things. You yes, fight sir. and you make it a particular part. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Sir. And uh, I hope the presenters sir, will take out uh, the uh, concluding remarks that is given by the chairperson and enhance the level of uh, studies. Thank you, Rafisi. Thank now, you, sir. I now will request uh, another presenter, Mr. Amit Sankar from Central University of South Bihar, Gaya. Uh, sir, Amit Sankar ji, are you there? Yes, sir, I am here. Yeah. And title of uh, paper presentation is uh, Role of Assistant Devices to Overcome Challenges of Mathematical Learning, a Study of Visually Impaired Girls Schools of Bihar. Over to you, Amit Sankar ji. Sir, yes, sir, my screen is visible. Okay, sir. So now uh, my screen no. is visible. Yeah, sir, it is visible. Yeah, thank you. Okay, sir. Thank you. Sir. Okay. As for my topic, uh, role of assistive technology, assistive device to overcome challenges of mathematics learning, the study of visually impaired girls, the school of year. First, uh, uh, there is basic definition: external device that are designed, made, or altered to help someone to do a specific task. Basically, these assistive devices are required to enhance performance of the young students and the young pupils. And the assistive device may be anything. Am I audible everyone? Yeah, sorry, sir, pretty well, sir. Continue, sir. Okay, okay. Assist, assistive device may be anything. It might be simple device, likewise magnifying glass, pictures, uh, different kinds of software, everything which are supporting uh, for the betterment of the young may be come under assistive device. Assistive device related with mathematics learning. I request other people please mute your microphones. Please, it is creating the disturbance. Please mute. Continue, sir. Thank you. Some of some example of assistive devices related with mathematical learning comes on the abacus rail slate. Abacus is basic uh, tool for at, which is used at beginner level. Teleframe, another example, teleframe and types, large key calculator. Large key calculator is basically uh, used for low vision uh, students. Means they have low vision. Talking calculator which is used for uh, blind people, imposed graph people, as uh, study Professor Dhamma Nujan sir said about artificial intelligence software that is also nowadays used to recognize imposed graph people, magnifier, audio tapes, geometric kits, lots of things are available nowadays to enhance capability of um, the young people. For this study, I have used semi-structured interview. In that, there was five questions. There is some delimitation in this study. Uh, basically, the study done at, in, uh, from visually impaired girls, which are who are studying in the school of Patna Bihar, and 
the class was secondary class means uh, ninth and tenth class. Now uh, comes our interpretation of data. The as per theme, the uh, questionnaire was divided on dif different basis. There was point user experience of assistive device on mathematical learning. The data was very interesting and uh, in during uh, find during data collection, it was found that there was very positive response and. Uh, most of the this, uh, girls who, who are uh, part of this uh, research was very curious to know about different kinds of assistive device. Some example I want to quote. Uh, I have used telephone, tape recorder, rail slate, abacus, but our teacher told that now many electronic devices available for teaching learning. We enjoy to learn. Means this what shows that they have basic knowledge and they are uh, curious to know much about these assistive devices which are supporting their lifestyle, their learning. Another response is we can learn all subjects. We use their slate and many mathematical devices for learning. These lines show that they have uh, good confidence to learn and they are getting lots of things regarding their teaching learning. There is another respondent uh, who told that imposed mathematical devices help us to measure length and other things, likewise sighted person. Means they are correlating with a sighted person too that we can do lots of things which a sighted uh, student are doing. Another interpretation came related with support of teacher. Support of teacher part was have both kind of response. There was positive as well as negative response. Some lines that I am lucky that I have really good teachers. They started me teaching from the evening. Then I was kid. A bakas was my first counting device. My teacher taught me to write numbers on braille slate by correlating with alphabets. These lines represent that. They are gesture about their teachers that how much support they are really getting. Their response shows that the teachers are highly cooperative. They try to uh, give us such kind of information, uh, such kind of uh, teach, what I can say, uh, such kind of talent so that they can fight with uh, the challenges. Lots of point came during this uh, research. Another respondent told that shifting from abacus their slide to tailor them was quite interesting. They were sharing their own view that day by day our uh, assistive devices are going to be gradually changed. Earlier they was using simple device, uh, gradually we are moving from simple to advanced device. Another respondent shows that we enjoy it too much when teacher first time used talking calculator. The concept of talking calculator was uh, at initial level they were very uh, in, enjoying that this is some new calculating device. Another respondent added that our teacher told that there are lots of software made for fast calculation of every kind of data but we don't have that reach. Means some of us are feeling that there are lots of things but we have done, we have not reach of that software also. Because in uh, secondary school, these are costly devices and uh, they know that they were very curious to learn but as for availability part, they were lacking this thing. Support of peers. Uh, in this part, the data shows almost every support was very positive. The uh, PA part con uh, covers their friends, their seniors, their uh, juniors. But the uh, point, some of the 
people said that very happy to share about support that do I receive from our peer group. Our peer always motivates us to use technology and assistive device. During Corona period, our seniors suggested to learn by YouTube. Means their senior support was really appreciable. That they always try to learn and share these things to their juniors. Most of the resp respondent was very satisfied. And uh, another part is uh, support of teacher, third peers. Another thing was uh, challenges and barrier. The dimension of challenges and barrier was very tough to find because uh, some of girls don't want to share their issues and challenges. Uh, but some said that assistive device which is required for teaching learning is very costly. Our family cannot afford that. Some said that our teacher teaches all subjects in math class. We are not get, getting time. Sometimes principal says that my teacher will be appointed. Then you will get no doubt. And that, the thing was that teachers tried to support them but due to lack of uh, assistance, financial, financial support, finally that issue came. Another respondent said, am I your what do you think of? Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Okay. 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 Yes. Okay. Another respondent said that we can learn basic mathematics till class 8. After that, we have to opt music or social subject. Means due to lack of uh, support or some kind of uh, assistive device, they cannot uh, get mathematical learning after uh, elementary education. Some of the respondents said that our family members feel uh, whatever teaching learning is occurring in our school is enough for our survival. They don't want to give proper attention to our education. If some of family members was really feeling that the survival part is enough for their kids, but they are not too much careful about this. This was their intention to say that our family members are saying in this way. I don't know what was the feeling, but as a researcher, I found some kinds of negative feeling was there in that those girls. One of respondents share that in competition, math and everything is being asked. So math is important, which my brother told, but we are lacking that. And she got very much emotional by saying this thing because uh, in every competition, uh, time is given. But the part which they have to solve is uh, some kind of a challenging part for them because they are getting extra support but extra time. But the listening part they have to solve on self. This was the issue shared by some girls. Now uh, comes to conclusion that shows that learning experience of some of respondent was quite well while someone was very curious to know more about assistive device. Most of them was familiar with simple mathematical device, but they was have little knowledge about high-tech assistive device. Support of teacher was too positive. Their teacher always tries to make a strong teaching learning environment. Most of the respondents were satisfied with their year support as they always share new and innovative information with each other. The finding of this shows that although teachers have degree diploma, but some of teachers who are teaching mathematics lack some kind of training in special education. Thank you all. I think that was very fast. Sorry, if at some point if you are not getting, you can discuss. Uh, thank you, Mr. Amit, uh, for your presentation. Uh, now I request the other audience for questions. Please, questions. If no question from the audience, now I request the uh, chairman of the session, Dr. Gar, sir, for providing the valuable remark to Mr. Over to Gar, sir. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you, Amitji.
I request other uh, or, or, or people from the audience, please mute your uh, microphones. Okay. Okay. Study. Agastha Foundation has supplied matters to all government schools, elementary schools of Chamran district in Karnataka state. The learning materials in the kit contain number line and clock sheets, abacus, base, pen, blocks, or place value maps, which are multi purpose user, using these uh, uh, TL materials. We can easily make understand the learner to grab the concepts very effectively. These materials are very useful to develop meaningful understanding matters concepts and fundamental operations. Step in this context, the study was carried out with the intention to find out the effective usage of map recipe at elementary level and it stated as study of knowledge competency of elementary school teachers in using Mapper stick. My intention is the object of the study is to study the extent of awareness and uses of uh, learning materials of elementary school teachers. The, to analyze the components of component wise competency in using teaching learning materials of mapers by elementary school teachers. To study the relationship between the knowledge and uses of teaching learning material in the mm -hmm. learning process. Purpose of the study are there is no secret difference between the knowledge of teaching learning material in mathematics and its usage in the facilitation process of learning. There is second hypothesis, there is no significant difference in components of using teaching learning materials of mathematics in the classroom transaction by the elementary school teachers. The third hypothesis, there is no significant relation between the knowledge and usage of teaching learning materials in facilitation learning places. The variables of study, the independent variables teach of knowledge about the teaching learning materials. It, it was measured by, uh, by automatic training professor test federal knowledge in mapper skit. Dependent variables usage of competency of teaching learning materials. It is assessed by using the facilitation process of tools. Discussion tool. Professor test in content professor test pedagogical knowledge in mathematics tool is a questionnaire containing consisting of 16 items of objective questions related to pedagogical knowledge in teaching mathematics including awareness about the teaching learning materials available in the class. The tool was validated at two level. Formal the question was framed by the investigator and discussed with the field or resource persons of elementary and high school teachers. Then the primary tool was uh, distributed for the subject expert team for content validity, the opinions were uh, considered and the final tool was uh, framed. The tool was admitted on 42 teachers as a pilot study. The reliability of the phone, the reliability of the tool was found to be 0 0.756. Another tool used is Facilitation Process Observation Classroom tool, which is with 5.0 uh, 5 of facilitating mathematics learning in the classroom. The indicators of the construction of tool, it is a, the indicators of the facilitating process were discussed with the dialogue level resource teachers and specification for the knocking of the rating scale was also decided. The primary tool was contained 132 items but was distributed to the team of subjects by expert teams. The findings of the classroom observer was recorded as a pilot study on eight teachers and video recorded. The video, the findings of the class, the classroom observer was viewed being used by the resource persons. The unknown indicators were eliminated and the indicators were revised and rearranged based on the opinions and suggestions of the resource team. The final tool was considered 95 items. Data collection. Professional test in pedagogical knowledge in mappers questionnaire was, tool was used for data collection of pedagogical knowledge of elementary school teachers. The elementary school teachers were assigned in a common center. The objective and significance of the study and the instruction for the answering the question was explained and then it was addressed to the group. The facilitation process observation tool was used for facilitation learning process in the classroom observation of elementary school teachers. Facilitation data was, data was collected over a period of one month during class visits. For data analysis, the data was analyzed using descriptive and statistical analysis. 
descriptive analysis was he applied to assess the extent of, of, of awareness about the teaching learning materials of the elementary school teachers. Correlation study was uh, studies was applied to analyze the relation between the knowledge and of the knowledge about the teaching learning materials of the elementary school teachers with respect to the usage of the DLM in the classroom facilitation process. From the findings, uh, our 98 teachers were involved with the study. The uh, concrete knowledge was only 54.85 percentage, but whereas the usage of the paper kit in the classroom during the facilitation process was only about 29.69 percentage. Among these 72 non-graduate teachers were involved, their members content, content knowledge, their members skip knowledge was about 52.64% and their UCS competency is about 29.26%. Among graduate teachers, 26 were teachers were involved in this study. Their competency, their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.97%. Why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67 percent. Why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kit. Awareness was about 69.67 percent. Why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is competency. Their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67 percent. Why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67 percent. Why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67 percent. Why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is competency their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67 percent why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is competency their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67 percent why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is competency. Their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67 percent. Why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is competency. Their knowledge about mathematical kit. Awareness was about 69.67 percent. Why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is competency. Their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67 percent. Why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67 percent. Why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is competency, their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67 percent. Why their UCS competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is competency their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67 percent why their UCS competency in classroom 
facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their UCS competency in classroom facilitates process
versus only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. 
say their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percent is. Competency their knowledge about mathematical kick 
awareness was about 69.67% why ap uses competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage competency their knowledge about mathematical kit awareness was about 69.67% why ap uses competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 
efficiency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit. Awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit. Awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit. Awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit. Awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom. Facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 31.06 percentage. Competency, their knowledge about mathematics kit awareness was about 69.60.97 percent. Why? Their usage competency in classroom facilities process only about 